All right, what's going on to all rucksack enthusiasts out there? What's up to all hikers and uh, tactical backpack enthusiasts, to all you bug out bags and all you zombie crazy prepper people out there? Um, I want to talk about some packs that I've been experimenting with for quite some time. Uh, the thing is, I've always liked rucksacks. I like the look of them. I like how versatile they are. Uh, they're not the best for traveling, so don't be carrying them on planes and trains and that kind of stuff. But for hiking and anything outdoor related, they are fantastic packs. Uh, I have learned quite a bit throughout the couple years I've been experimenting with some of these ones. So uh, I'm just going to kind of ramble a little bit. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. Let's get started. So a rucksack, in my opinion, is any pack that has usually a large compartment with an external frame. That's just my personal opinion. I'm just one person online. Uh, but the thing is, having an external frame to a pack makes a big difference when it comes to carrying heavy weight. It does add up in the long run. Pretty much if a pack has 20 pounds or less, I can do without a, a frame. But once you, once you get up to 20 pounds or more, I want a frame of some kind. Uh, let's go with a pack that needs no introduction whatsoever. This is the Alice pack. This is the Alice medium pack. This particular one is a aftermarket version made by the company called Five Star Gear. Uh, I don't know very much about them, but this one's cheaply made. The thing is, every time I try to find a medium Alice pack online, they're always uh, beat up and used, and they're just not good quality like they used to be back in the day. I got this for a couple of reasons. One is that it was cheap. And then number two, I wanted to just experiment and just see what is so great about the Alice pack. Uh, there are hundreds of videos online of people going ins and out of it, so I'm not going to go into the crazy details about it. You guys can do your own research with that. But um, there's a couple really important things to say about it. Number one, yes, it, it is an absolutely fantastic rucksack for its time. Uh, the thing is, going to some of the other modern ones, it is, it's not obsolete, but there are a few things about it that I don't know what they were thinking back in the day. Uh, for example, and use some imagination. So this frame was actually on this at one point, and that frame was also on that pack before I replaced it with another frame. So all these things have all been changed in some way or, or another, but I have had this pack set up with the frame, with the original hip pad, kidney pad, whatever you want to call it. And uh, by far, I think one of the worst things about the original Alice pack is the straps. Uh, to all, anybody who is a veteran out there, I would like to know your opinion about this. If you ever actually use one of these things, um, they make much better straps now. But this design, the overall original design, goes back to the early 70s. And yes, things have you know definitely been upgraded over the time. Um, the thing is, these straps, again, I'm not sure what they were thinking at the time. But maybe it's just the best thing they can come up with. First of all, these things are naturally heavy. There's a lot of steel in the buckle section of it where the concept of these things where if you're getting shot at you you pull these tabs and the whole straps will just detach and the whole pack and fly off of you and then you go get the bad guys but the thing is naturally these straps are heavy but most of all these things are incredibly uncomfortable um there's not too much padding on these things at all it takes a while for me to adjust it to to be moderately comfortable and um I just really could not stand these straps whatsoever. I loaded this pack up with the frame, by the way, with about like 25 plus pounds, and I rocked it up a few uh, um, local hikes, and I'm like, dude, I just don't like this. The the um, kidney pad or hip pad, however you want to call it, is actually kind of adequate. You could get a whole lot worse, but uh, the thing is, that's actually not as bad, you know, nearly as bad as what the straps are like. Again, if you actually use this in the military, I wouldn't mind if you dropped a, an opinion as to what you think about the straps. But the thing is, um, this is kind of like a big cornerstone in the whole rucksack community is, you know, oh, the Alice Medium Pack. And I can see why a lot of people like it. It's very versatile. Um, I just, in my opinion, don't think it's the best pack out there. And the other last thing I like about it is this buckle down here. I mean, it's not a buckle. It's just kind of like a loop. But the strap is... Pretty much it takes a long time to get in and out of the pack, so you have to find better ways of doing that. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the Medium Alice pack. I don't use this anymore. Um, I keep the straps on here just to keep them on here. The canteens, I actually take off and put them on other pieces of gear. I just wanted to show that you can have your canteen pouches on the side. Uh, but I did use this for a couple hikes, and it, it taught me a thing or two about just the early, early stages of rucksacks. And this pack I've already done a video on. This is the Spec Ops Recon Ruck. So why do I have these ones showing off here? Because if this was one of the more bigger founding fathers of the rucksacks, well, the thing is people still like the idea, 
but then they add their own touch to it. You know, other companies will, will improve it in their own minds. Um, I've already, like I said, I already did a more detailed version of the Spec Ops Recon Ruck. Um, this pack, though, what's so funny is since I've made that video, I've upgraded this thing in a few different ways. So there's a company called, where is, it, where is that, Tactical Tailor. If you want to improve your Alice system at all, look into Tactical Tailor. Uh, the problem is that they are not cheap. They do. They make very good stuff, but it's very expensive. For example, you look at this. What's called a malice, ma malice, malice frame. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. This frame is a much better upgraded version than the original Alice frame. Now, this particular Alice frame of what I have is actually in. It's it's actually exceptional uh, quality. It's very very good Alice frame. This one is even crazier. It's beefier. It's it's instead of rivets, you have welding. Uh, the aluminum. It's just better quality. It's just an overall better frame than the Alice frame. However, um, it's it's actually heavier. The straps, as I mentioned on the Alice pack over there, both of these newer packs, I got the um, Tactical Tailor straps, and these things are excellent. These things are so dang comfortable. They're they're. It, we're talking about a night and day difference between the original Alice strap. Even the straps that the Spec Ops Recon Ruck comes with is just it's good but my shoulders didn't like it my body didn't like it and i get the tactical tailor straps and i just love it um the last thing is the hip pads so going back to the whole kidney pad of what the of what this thing had there are multiple companies that melt or that now make much better hip pads for the alice frame style these are the same thing again by tactical tailor uh these these add so much more comfort than what you can possibly think of. So um, to anybody who carries 25 plus pounds, you want to get that weight around your hips. And once you get that weight around your hips, you're able to carry a lot more, uh, a lot more comfortably. And it's just not going to take nearly as much wear and tear on your body. Um, now, here's why I want to talk about these two in, in general. So that is made out of a type of thinner nylon. I don't know what kind of quality nylon. I, I, I actually don't even know what type of nylon the... Uh, original Alice pack is made of that stuff's pretty thin again I don't know what what that material is made of these two are made out of denier nylon and denier nylon is pretty tough stuff I'll talk about this guy in a bit but uh the spec Ops recon ruck is made out of a thousand denier nylon which is heavy it's it's just naturally heavy this is gonna be a a, a, a real jaw dropper in this case when this pack is empty even with the other pouches off when this pack is empty, it weighs eight pounds by itself. And had this pack been made out of 500 denier nylon and not a thousand denier nylon, it probably would have only weighed like six. But the the thousand denier nylon is just too heavy, in my opinion. This pack, by the way, in case for those who are wondering, this is the lightweight tropical uh, rucksack, and this is made by. The Hidden Ones bit. I can't believe I just spaced out on the name. So this is, in my opinion, the best out of all three. Because this is lightweight, this is comfortable, and yet it can do everything that all these packs can do. Um, let me just say one, th let me just say this. This is actually a 9 out of 10 all day, all night. Um, I, I complained uh, on this video about something that I wish that they changed. And this pack has exceptional buckles that you can adjust all the way up and down. So that's that's where it wins. The one thing, and I'm just going to say the one negative thing about this pack compared to others. Uh, bear with me on this. So, doing this with one hand, guys. Bear with me. The Alice pack has through pouches that come out on both sides. And the benefit of that is you can put a shovel, you can put a hatchet, you can put your hiking poles or whatever. But when you have... Uh, a pouch that can run all the way through on the other side. It's just it's just really really nice These don't do that. I don't know why that would have been a perfect 10 out of 10 It really would have it really would be a real 10 out of 10 in my books for the ultimate uh, rucksack But it's not whatever nevertheless um, This pack wins over this one Because it's lighter weight. I can actually fit more gear in here, too I can uh, the, the 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 main compartment. It's actually bigger than that one um, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't has have, much, have uh, as much taxation on my body like that one is. Um, this one's going to survive the apocalypse. This one will take me to the edge of the earth and back, but I might get a little scratch on it. This one, I just don't trust. Uh, I'm, this one's already kind of falling apart. 
Uh, where is it? Yeah. Yeah, grommet fell out of that. And then that thing is just completely falling apart. It kind of took me by surprise. Anyway, the whole point I want to, want to say is that when it comes to rucksacks, do your research. Um, be prepared to pay and you get what you pay for. Okay. There's a lot of money in these two packs alone. However, when it comes to what I do with them, usually it's about hiking. It's about outdoors. Um, I will load these things up when I'm taking my dog for a walk and, uh, just kind of get a good workout with it. Um, trying to think what else can I possibly add to it? I want to say that it's been, uh, quite an interesting experience, a very expensive experience, but, um, Nevertheless, I'm very happy that I now have this guy. I will still train and use this guy. I do local hikes with this one. Uh, but if I'm going to be doing a hike, it's going to be with this one. This one stays in the garage. And uh, one day I might find a frame from that one. If someone's going to say, which frame do I recommend? Do I recommend the the Malice? The, the Mal I keep forgetting what it is. It's, it's made by Tactical Taylor, by the way. This frame is made by Tactical Taylor. Um, there's a waiting list on it, though. If you were to ask me, do I recommend this frame or... The Alice frame, I'm actually going to say get the Alice frame because it's actually lighter. It's lighter than that one. It's also less expensive and you don't have to wait for it. This one, I had to wait like three months before that frame was available. Um, one last thing is one of these days, I have no idea when I'm going to do it. Um, but for that pack, I will probably get what's called a 1606 frame. It's a plastic frame. And uh, for some reason, trying to find a hip pad for that thing is quite hard. I don't know why. It, uh, it just is. Um, but at least I have another set of straps that I can use on this thing and um, I guess that's it Once again, it's just been a um, Interesting experience on on figuring out what is ultimately the most comfortable system and at least I'm happy that I finally found it um, What usually always happens is every time I make a, uh, a video like this I always forget to add something or or, or uh, Add more to it. So look at the description down below Hopefully I covered anything. If you have any comments or questions, just drop it down below. And to anyone that has actually watched this, thank you for watching.